for us as a society, we need to grow our intellect. We need to be robust and competitive in a global economy. And so, in a way, it's a self-serving thing, but studies show us, analyses show us, and thank you for the work of Skyler, by the way, but analyses will tell us that 75% of the brain is developed by kindergartners. 85% of your personality, your intellect, and your social skills are developed by kindergarten. And what I've always noticed in pre-K, which I just learned from the butterfly class, there's not a bashful soul in that part. <laughs> they have developed their interactiveness, their cognitive skills, their social skills, along with their education skills. Uh, get, getting that kind of all-inclusive package at a tender age of four is absolutely the kind of priming of the pump that we need. With Head Start, we get the jump start. And our kids deserve that. We know they need it, but they deserve it. They're our precious commodity. You know, who knows who was sitting in that butterfly class in terms of career 20 years down the road, 25 years down the road? Was one of those butterflies the scientist that will cure cancer? Could very well be. Will it be someone who will maybe receive a patent for an invention? She could have been sitting right in front of me. And I'll find out years later, right? So, societal wise, this is a powerful thing to do. This is the way we inspire, this is the way we reach and stretch our children's imagination and deepen their academic form. And what's in it for us? We can call it spending. But if you spend, you don't imagine any return. If you invest, as we do with Head Start, for every dollar we invest, we begin to realize $7 in return. There's a lucrative dividend, lower crime rates, higher employment rates, sounder salaries, better quality of life, reduced crime. All of that speaks to enhance quality of life, not only for the youngsters of, of Head Start, but for families in the general region. So we all stand to gain with this effort. You know, back in 98, 1998, when I was in the States, I was serving on the Education Committee. I was really proud of the efforts we made in the state legislature to envision full-time pre-K and K, to really offer that beginning the foundation, which is essential to quality education. The Alliance for Quality Education that you'll hear about from Billy advocated all of that. Skyler proved statistically how much worthiness there is to the, uh, to the inclusion of that stuff. Uh, it's important for us to work as a team to encourage decision makers to do the right thing. Now, I want to applaud New York because they did pick up on that vision of, of ages ago and do a first time real funding of 25 million for new full-time and part-time slots for Head Start, especially in troubled areas, economically challenged areas. The president, in his messaging, in his outreach to Congress, is asking for 75 million so that every youngster has the link to Head Start. It helps parents who require work to be able to strengthen their own family situation. So this is an all-around value-added concept. I get very troubled with the notion of sequestration, which I did not support the first time out and will not continue to support as I've seen being done in Congress but we're formalizing that tool in the toolkit. It is a mindless, thoughtless exercise that just goes against all the, uh, the academics and the soundness of thinking that we ought to utilize in putting together a budget. Sequestration would put 70,000 slots for Head Start at risk. That is dumbing down of America at a time when other competitor nations are investing in their education formats. Let that be an alarm to America. 
let it be an alarm to the United States to continue to invest in its talent. This talent being produced every year. And what we saw in the butterfly class, what we saw in Head Start here, that's inspiration. That's validation. That's the wake-up call. They need us. They deserve for us to fight for them. And so I would stand proudly in support of the request of the President to fund Head Start and I work with my colleagues in the state legislature to continue to advance that state federal partnership that really makes a statement about young people. Finally, I'll say this. Just as the butterfly class processed the words of the mm -hmm. book about kindergarten, they process our actions. We can tell them every day of the week, study hard, education is important. But if we don't match that rhetoric with our actions, they're going to process it as hypocritical. Mm -hmm. We say, if we really believe education is important, then why don't we, as adults in the community, support it? So they will challenge us eventually. So uh, this is for the children. This is for quality of education. This is for economic prosperity. And most importantly, it's for hope. Hope delivered to the doorstep of each and every child. Head start, jump start, let's win it. America needs this to happen. Thank you.